I smoothed out all around the edges as it was drying, or just as it was dry. And if you wait until it dries all the way, you can take your putty knife and kind of scrape off any little bits of high areas. I'm just going to put a little second coat over this now. And this will, this will start making it a lot smoother. Got to get that first coat on there. And then put more on it. So that's why I say don't be too concerned when you get the first coat on there. If it doesn't get perfectly smooth, okay, that's looking way better. See, and I'm doing all this on the same day, and I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to put some all-purpose mud on there before I leave for the day. Then, tomorrow, I'll sand the all-purpose and see if there's any little areas I need to tight skim, and then that's ready to be painted. See there? Way better than that electrical plug, huh? Here's something important that I want you to understand about using Quickset over a patch like this. Once the quick set dries, I've got two coats on there and it's dry now. That almost acts as a metal plate over this webbing tape. Once that quick set bonds on the back side of that webbing tape and on the front side of the webbing tape, it gets really super hard, way harder than regular sheetrock mud. So that's almost like a plate going over that. That is solid. Now, if I hit that with a hammer, obviously I'm going to crack it. I'm going to crack no matter what's on over that hole, okay? But you're not going to ever do that. So that's why I like to use quick set. Another reason, but, you know, I also like to use quick set because it dries so much quicker than regular sheetrock mud, and I can put all my coats on. Um, in one day and have that nice and hard before I put the finish all-purpose sheetrock mud over that. Try that next time you do a patch like that. Incidentally, I just wanted to share something with you. Remember I was saying why would somebody put a plug that close to an opening? Now here's the opening. Now, I got plastic over and this opening used to not be here. There used to be an accordion door on this opening, but before that, this wall kind of went all the way across. It might have had a door opening in it once upon a time, but then they decided to cut this big, huge opening in the wall, and they went right over to an existing stud, and on that existing stud, to the right side of it, was that plug. And they didn't bother moving that plug. They could have, they could have moved it over, done away with it, whatever, because I know they did some sheetrock work in here too, but they decided just to leave that. And that's why that was there. So next time you get ready to cut in an opening such as this, and you've got some existing plugs in the wall, you know, take it out and do it right. Relocate it over right there or if you're not going to do that, at least patch that up like we're doing now. So much better to do it like that. Got this all scraped down. This is the quick set and I'm going to put all-purpose joint compound on here. This is all dry and I'm going to put a little bit of joint compound on here now. And if you have your patch fairly smooth with the second coat of quick set, then it's easier to put this on there, you know? I think what I'm going to do, I've got a four inch knife here, it's a broad knife. I'm going to change over to my six inch knife just so that I can kind of bridge over 
the whole patch area. I'm going to go just beyond it at the top and the sides because I want that patch to disappear. Still got a little bit of mud over the top of it so that I can sand it. Now see that line there? Got just something inside the mud. You know, just a little piece of grit causes that. Look at that. Oh, whoops in there. So I'll have to grab some extra mud. Try that again. Yeah, I think that's good. I'll let that dry. I'm going to let that dry all the way. And then I'm going to lightly sand that and see if I need to put some tight skim material on there. Let me see one other little spot right down in here. Just have to kind of do that. I don't have to get it perfect, but I'm going to get it close enough so that when I sand that, if I have to do anything, I'll put just a little bit of tight skimming material over there. The same thing, and I'm just calling it a tight skim because that's what you do after this, okay? Because I want this to blend in really good to my existing. The whole idea here is to not see a patch at all, and I think I'm achieving that. <laughs> 